Hey everybody, it's just Mr. Curry wishing you a good, good morning all the way from Cumberland to Kansas, wherever you happen to be. Hope you're having a really lovely one. So, today, just a quick update. Not only do you know whether you're on the guilty team or the innocent team, but you also know what part of it you're doing. Whether that's the intro, small groups are doing the intro and the closing, or whether you're doing one of the three arguments. Uh, I'm going to publicly announce today what the other team's three arguments are so that you can know what they're going to say. I'm not going to give you details at all. You're not going to find out what their quotes are before they plan to use them. But you will find out what the three main arguments are that the other team is using. If you're on innocent team number one, or guilty team number one, then it's going to be your job not only to defend your team's number one argument, but also to attack the other team's number one argument. So just be prepared to know that uh, some of you on the number one argument are going to be there to build your own case, and others are going to be there to counterattack the other team's case. I'll let you guys decide who wants to do what within each of those jobs. There are certainly enough people in each number one argument, number two argument, and number three argument on each side to be able to do that. So you can specialize whether you're going to support your team by defending your own case or attack the opponent's case. So today I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to have a whole new document that's just for your specialized group of six or seven targeting your number one case and your opponent's number one case or number two case or number three case, depending on what that is. So I'm going to create a Google Doc for you today. You're going to have access to it to, number one, add what your team's argument is going to be, and number two, try to think of ways to attack your opponent's argument. Uh, and then when it comes time to actually have the final assignment due, you will have specialized in one or the other. But for now, you're supporting both. That way we can have the biggest possible claim and the biggest possible attack on your opponent's argument. So I want to see everybody contribute to that new document that I'm going to create and hand out to you guys today. Sorry, big tanker truck. Uh, so that's your big part of your assignment today. Uh, I want to see contributions from everybody in the correct locations for their arguments. And otherwise, it's just going to be another really gorgeous day here. Yesterday was in the high 70s, low 80s, I think, for everybody. Lots of sunshine, nice breezes, not too hot and hazy. And I think today is likely to be a bunch of the same. So enjoy it. But remember, you do still have a job to do. Your team is depending on you, and Columbus is depending on you as well, whether it's to put him in jail or to keep him from going to jail, based on your findings. <clears throat> Important to note that it's not a slam dunk for either side. Um, in all the years that I've been doing this debate, and it's probably about eight or nine years now, uh, it's a total toss-up as to which side wins. It's all on how persuasive you are, how attentive you are, how much evidence you have prepared, how well you use that evidence. It, there's enough of a gray area so that uh, neither side has it easy, and either side can definitely win. So if you think your side has too tough a task to win, you'd be surprised. But also, if you think your side is a walkover, that there's no way you can lose, that it's all just going to be smooth sailing, you're in for a big surprise. So, please make sure you contribute to your team. Please make sure you invest in what's happening. Because uh, there's bonus points for the team that wins. And bonus points that go towards your final grade in the class. Try to get those. It's a good thing. Have a good day.